in this uh, video i am going to explain solution of a thick coil cylinder problem related to the uh, string fitting uh, process okay this is the problem we are going to discuss an engineer proposed that the cylindrical vessel which is subjected to an internal pressure of 50 megapascal can be reinforced by shrinking on an outer cylindrical liner as shown in figure when the material maximum tensile strength is 100 megapascal help the engineer to calculate the required shrinkage and justify the proposed design then the material elastic modulus is given 205 gigapascal okay uh, before going to solve this problem let me explain the theory behind this problem stream fitting is a method to strengthen in the cylinder bore when the cylinders are subject to internal pressure when the cylinders are subject to internal pressure this wall is subject to a, a two perpendicular stresses in a circumferential direction the developed stress is called tangential stress this is stress also called hoop stress circumferential stress or tangential stress tangential stress in a radial direction this developed stress is equal to a radial stress sigma r when the cylinder subject to internal pressure only situation at the inner surface sigma t maximize at the inner surface sigma t maximize always this uh, sigma t value is greater than sigma r actually at the inner surface sigma r is negative it is acting acting like this then this this is how sigma t is varying so when considering the inner surface the sigma t is maximized and the sigma r is negative so the sigma t is the critical stress component considering the in case of failure so if anyhow sigma t can minimize this cylinder can take higher pressure the method is stream fitting the stream fitting can reduce this uh, sigma t let's see how uh, stream fitting can reduce this uh, sigma t value in string fitting, what happened in string fitting? Let's take, uh, let me explain the uh, string fitting process. Let's take this is the outer cylinder. This outer cylinder inner radius distributed as the R. Then this is the inner cylinder. This inner cylinder outer radius is slightly greater than the r r plus delta this the difference is called string fit tolerance string fit tolerance so to assemble these two cylinders so one method this one should heat it until this diameter expand beyond this diameter oh this one should cool until this diameter shrink less than this diameter so then the both method used in industries then these two cylinders are, uh, can assemble so then after it comes to room temperature it forms a rigid bond in between them so then at the mating surface very high pressure developed due to this rigid bond this pressure is called interface pressure then this uh, interface pressure produce negative stress negative stress on the inner surface negative tangential stress on the inner surface negative tangential stress on the inner surface this is how the stress distribution after string fitting it produces a negative stress negative stress mean the inner surface subject to a compressive stress when increasing the pressure this uh, tangential stress begins to increase from the negative value so that it can take higher pressure than in this situation you can see for the same pressure this is the maximum tangential stress developed in a, with the single cylinder situation now you can see this height uh, reduces for the uh, string fit uh, cylinders this is how cylinder bow strengthening in a uh, string fitting uh, process okay let's move to the uh, problem okay this is the diagram given first of all let's see what happened if you use the single cylinder 
with the diameter of uh, internal diameter of 50 and outside diameter of 80 for this uh, internal pressure of 50 megapascal then let's see what are what is the sigma t developed in this uh, uh, single cylinder to find this uh, value i'm going to use uh, this equation cylinder under internal pressure only situation so let me draw the diagram if we take the single cylinder with the internal diameter of uh, let's take a and the b a is equal uh, 50 the b is equal uh, 80 millimeters if you use uh, this kind of a single cylinder with separate pressure is equal to 50 megapascal that is acting on the inner surface 50 megapascal in this situation let's calculate the sigma t developed on this uh, inner surface to calculate this one i'm going to use this equation cylinder and internal pressure only situation we can use this equation to calculate that one okay sigma t is equal a square 50 into square uh, pi pressure 50 into 10 to the power of uh, 6 divided by b square minus a square 80 into square minus uh, a square 50 into square 1 plus b square 80 into square divided by r for the r we have to substitute the a because uh, we are going to calculate the tangential stress at the inner surface a value is equal to 50 50 into square by simplifying this equation we are able to calculate the sigma t we are able to calculate the sigma t sigma t value is equal 114.1 megapascal 114.1 megapascal then here you can see uh, material maximum tensile strength is 100 megapascal here the developed uh, tangential stress is greater than the maximum value the 14.1 megapascal is greater than the maximum value so uh, stream fitting have to use to reduce this uh, extra amount the extra amount is equal to 14.1 megapascal so using the string fitting we have to make negative 14.1 megapascal residual stress at the inner surface in that way we have to make the uh, string fitting tolerance we have to select the string fitting tolerance okay let's see how to find the string fitting tolerance to produce negative a uh, 14.1 megapascal uh, tangent stress at the inner surface okay uh, let me do the uh, diagram for uh, cylinder inner cylinder inner cylinder the first of all i am going to find the interface pressure required to produce minus 14.1 megapascal uh, tangential stress at the inner surface okay so here I am going to consider the inner cylinder the P value we are going to calculate then this uh, let's take uh, this A and the B A is equal uh, for inner surface 50 uh, B is equal to 70 millimeters the equation I am going to use uh, the equation cylinder under external pressure only situation sigma t equation sigma t equation is equal to minus p outside b square divided by b square minus a square 1 plus a square divided by r square okay this is the equation i am going to use to find the sigma t here i am going to find uh, sigma t value with the inner surface that means r is equal a this r is equal a we have to put the a so a square divided by a square is equal to 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so then this equation can be reduced when we are finding the uh, sigma t at the inner surface 
minus 2 PO B square divided by B square minus A square. Okay, let me substitute the values for this equation. Sigma T is equal minus 2 P naught. The other one we are going to calculate P outside pressure B square. 17 to square divided by uh, B square 70 square minus a square 15 t square should equal to minus 14.1 then by solving this uh, equation we are able to calculate the p naught the p naught value is equal to p naught value is equal to 3.45 megapascal 3.45 megapascal what does it mean to develop uh, negative 14.1 uh, megapascal uh, stress at the inner surface, tangential stress at the inner surface, we need a 3.45 megapascal interface pressure. So then, next step to find uh, to generate the uh, 3.45 uh, megapascal pressure, interface pressure. What is the swing fit tolerance we need? Then we are going to calculate. To calculate that one. We are going to use uh, we are going to use this equation. Is the equation the interface pressure is equal elastic uh, modulus of the material, then the string fit tolerance divided by the b b square minus a square divided by f two b square c square minus uh, b square divided by c square minus uh, a square this is the equation we are going to use to calculate the delta okay, let me draw the let me show the diagram let me draw, draw the diagram this is the outer cylinder then this is the inner cylinder Okay, then this uh, radius is equal to A, this radius is equal to B, this radius is equal to C in this equation. Here A, A is, A is equal to, according to this diagram, A is equal to 50, 50 millimeters, the B is equal to 70, C is equal 80 millimeters then we are going to substitute these uh, values in this equation the required interface pressure is equal 3.45 3.45 megapascal 10 to the power of 6 is equal to the elastic modulus of the material is given that is equal to 205 into 10 to the power of 9 the delta we are going to calculate the delta what is the B 70 70 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 3 then uh, B square 70 into square minus uh, A square 15 into square C square 18 into square minus uh, 17 into square divided by 2 b square 17 to square 18 to square minus a square 15 to square okay uh, then the final answer for this one is equal to uh, delta is equal uh, 12.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 uh, millimeters okay uh, this is how we are solving uh, this kind of uh, thick core cylinder problem related to the string fitting process I think you all got a very clear idea solving uh, this kind of uh, problem. Okay, thank you. See you next time.